Let's first remind ourselves of the particle model for a solid. It will look something like this. And the particles are close together in a regular arrangement and the particles are vibrating on the spot. Like liquids, if you apply a pressure to a solid, this pressure can be transferred to another surface. For example, when you push on a drawing pin and apply pressure, that can be transferred to the notice board. And we'll come back to the drawing pin example at the end of the video. Pressure in solids can be calculated using the following equation. Pressure equals force divided by area. The units for force are newtons. The units for area are meters squared. So therefore the units for pressure are newtons per meter squared. And if you are calculating pressure at GCSE, you would absolutely need to make sure that you convert any units to make them into these standard units. However, when you do experiments, you may well be measuring the area in centimetres squared. And if you have trouble converting that to metres squared, you can just keep it like that. And then the units for pressure, remember, will this time be newtons per centimetre squared. Let's look at an example of how we can use this pressure equation. Let's assume the person walking in the shoes has a weight of 500 newtons. Let's assume the front of the shoe has an area of 80 centimetres cubed. So if we wanted to calculate the pressure that they exert on the ground with the front of just one shoe, we could take the force, which is 500 newtons, and divide that by the area, which is 80 centimetres squared. And then we need to put our numbers into our equation. So 500 newtons divided by 80 centimetres squared. And we can work out that when the person walks on the ground with the front of the shoe, they will exert a pressure of 6.25 newtons per centimetre squared on the ground. Next, we can look at the heel of the shoe. Let's assume the person walking in the shoes has a weight of 500 newtons. So the weight is the same as before. And let's assume that the heel of the shoe has an area of just 0.8 centimetres squared. So we put our numbers into our equation again. Pressure equals 500 newtons divided by 0.8 centimetres squared. And from this, we can calculate that when the person walks on the ground with the heel of the shoe, they will exert a pressure of 625 newtons per centimetre squared on the ground. So if we have a really small area, then we have a much greater pressure when the same force is applied. That is why you'll often see people wearing high heels getting stuck in the mud, because if they apply the force over the heel part of the shoe, then a great pressure is exerted into the ground and the heel will end up moving into the ground and getting the person stuck. Animals that walk on soft ground have evolved to have large flat feet and this means they exert less pressure on the ground. So polar bears for example walking in the snow, large flat feet reduces the pressure on the snow which means they can walk on top of it and the same with camels when walking on the sand. Let's look back at the drawing pin for a final example. If we use the pressure equals force divided by area equation Let's say we applied a force of 20 newtons onto the drawing pin and it had an area of one centimetre squared. The pressure that that drawing pin exerted on our thumb would be 20 newtons per centimetre squared. However, the end of the drawing pin that pushes into the notice board has a much smaller area. So if we're pushing with a force of 20 newtons still, but the area is 0.008 centimetres squared, then the pressure applied to the notice board is a lot greater, 2,500 newtons per centimetre squared. So this is a clever piece of design, which means the pressure on our thumb is a lot smaller and the pressure applied to the notice board 
is much, much greater just by changing the area. Hi guys, if you enjoyed that last video, then please click on the screen to subscribe. You can also find all my videos in one place at GCSErevisionMonkey.com. If you're a teacher, check out the Key Stage 3 package at ScienceSurgery.com. It contains all of the Revision Monkey videos as well as loads more Key Stage 3 resources.